Good evening and welcome to another Volvo video, my 2003 Volvo XC90 and in this video I'm going to be re replacing this So this is replacement centre vent and I'm sure you'll be all wondering why I'm doing that but before I tell you the reason it's time for a sticker section So in this sticker section we're going to be featuring Hooked on Classics Now Simone who runs, who runs a channel she, uh, she basically fixes a, a vehicle she has some motorbikes and a couple of cars, most notably a Mark III Cortina estate. So let's find a space for for a stick. I think should we stick it in there oh, by Johnny Five and the and the, and the Conquer? Yep. Or maybe we should uh, put it somewhere else. Don't want to bother about stickers overlapping, I suppose. So just uh, see if I can peel this off. Uh, Could you might cut my nails for a while? So. I might have to resort to a Stanley knife if I've got one to hand. Uh, sure I had a Stanley knife somewhere, but if not, I'll just have to keep on going. There's a curve. I know I've got at least two, but two knives, but I don't have any of them with me. There we go, I think I've got it. Yeah, this one's fighting me. There we go, got it. So yeah, I'll stick it down there and be by top conquer. Good old Johnny Five. There we go. So that's Simone's Tom Classic sticker added to the wall of shame, or whatever you want to call it. So with that, it's back to the video. This is the reason I'm changing the the said event. So as you can see that's that's working perfectly but that isn't all floppy so that's why i've already replaced it i found this one on ebay so it's just a matter of uh, prizing prizing this out uh, swapping that over and then putting it back in simple as that so i've got my trim tool so i did have a go at getting it out before at some point you know obviously didn't, didn't show, show it on camera but i did a bit of a, a trial run so Let's put you guys down. Oh, you can still see what's, what I'm doing. If not, I, I apologize. So I'll just have a look at, get a couple of silver trim tools out. Now, if I remember right, you've got to start from the bottom. Uh, just pry it out from the bottom. go managed to liberate it so I don't know knowing what you're doing I've got the bottom bit out so I just Is that just this last bit come on there we go and it's out so I need to disconnect the hazard switch you just just push on that tab and now it comes simple as that really that easy so what I need to do is I need to uh, get this hazard switch out it should be a bit easier 
It's a bit trim tools. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think it's just squeeze it, squeeze it in, and out it out it comes. Yeah, this isn't seen, but there's the foam's, foam's coming off. I think it's just a couple of tabs or four tabs all together. Don't make it easy, that's for sure. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this off camera because I'll be here all all night. And it's gonna make for a boring video, but just getting those pushing those tabs in and well you can see that. I'm just uh yeah, you know, there's a uh, there's four tabs there that all this this all uh hazard switch assembly there's the hazard switch itself that comes out that's held in by a couple of tabs. But there's a surround as well, so I'll just stop the camera here and I'll come back to you when I'm ready to put it all back together. I managed to get it all get it all off. I've, I've actually taken the switch out, so I'll just show you putting the whole thing together. So this is a replacement one with the working vents. There's just there's a one piece that ties these vertical slats together, and that's that's missing. And that's why that's why they're flapping around. So first thing, just push push that in until you. There, you can hear, hear, them, hear the tabs engage, and then the hazard switch itself. Just push it in, then you hear it click, and then it's just a bit of a plugging this in. Let's see, I'll just get to where you can see it. So I just plug plug the connector in to hear it click, and then the whole lot just pushes back in. So I just Get it started in at the top. That's it. Oh no, just start, just push it in straight so it catches with the, the vents. Then push it in at the top, push it in at the bottom, and there we have our working vents. We've got fully working vents again. So that is the job done. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed this one. I know it's a no, it's not much of a job, but, but um, to be honest, I'm, I'm, I'm literally running out of content, so I can only do what there is to do. So, as ever, thanks for watching, and I'll see you there.